Dave, what happened here? Well, we know that there are people in the auto industry and really elsewhere who say they're glad to see the changes that will be coming as part of this federal investigation. But many people say they find it hard to believe that in 2023, this was happening in the first place. The Fox 2 drone high in the skies over the Stellantis plant in Sterling Heights, where the automotive giant will add more lactation rooms for breastfeeding mothers and make changes to its brake policy. This following a federal investigation into complaints of inadequate access, including a plant worker who was allegedly expressing breast milk on the factory floor after being denied access to the plant's existing breastfeeding rooms. The group Women in Automotive reacting to the news. It's awesome. It's, uh, you know, great for the mothers to be able to offer the, the, the ability to breastfeed to their babies uh, without having to stay at home. The U.S. Department of Labor says it found the worldwide maker of Chrysler, Dodge and Jeep vehicles forced nursing mothers to wait up to 20 minutes for an available room or otherwise express milk in other places like the community shower. At least 19 nursing moms shared access to just four one-person lactation rooms. The probe also found what the feds call an improper policy of requiring nursing moms to turn in a doctor's note along with the baby's birth certificate in order to get into a nursing area. The Labor Department says those requirements stopped the one worker from expressing milk when needed. A lot of the answers for um, women have generally been in the past, um, just use the restroom or go find a storage closet or something along those lines. And, um, you know, that's not necessarily adequate. I mean, what happens if somebody accidentally walks in on you? Stellantis released a statement to Fox 2 saying, quote, employee health and wellness is a top priority for Stellantis. We continually assess the need for additional dedicated lactation rooms in each of our locations. We are committed to providing a private, comfortable place for women to express milk. Many groups representing women in the auto industry say overall nursing moms have come a long way in their fight for better access. They just had to stay home for the longest time after they gave birth to make sure that they could, um, if they chose to breastfeed, that they, they could provide that, um, those nutrients to, to their infant uh, for that amount of time. And now they have the option to provide that to their, to their child, their children, um, without you know, having to go without a paycheck. Now, of course, there are a lot of questions that remain here. We did reach out to the UAW, particularly the UAW Women's Committee. We wanted to see if there was any complaint filed there or any investigation there. We haven't heard back. We will certainly keep you updated and let you know when we do hear back from them. And we do know that there will be some retraining, particularly as it relates to the new policy, making sure that managers understand the new policy and that all of the rank and file do as well. For now, reporting live, in Sterling Heights, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Well, you, you mentioned training, Dave, but managers, supervisors who may have been involved in this, will they or someone be held accountable? Well, I think that's a big question for the UAW, no doubt about it. They would certainly be really the front lines on that, working with the uh, the auto agency there, Stellantis. So uh, we also want to point out that we did reach out uh, to Stellantis for an, an on-camera or Zoom interview because we wanted to go through all of these questions. They say they could only provide us with that statement tonight. So hopefully we could have a conversation about that down the road. Still want to hear back from the union as well.